Hello and welcome to another video in the All Commands tutorial series. We are going over four new commands today, all very useful ones I use on a regular basis. If you're here to see a specific command tutorial, check the description down below for timestamps to the, your specific command along with useful resources. And be sure to join the Mapmakers Discord to ask specific questions you have about commands or just to hang out or share your creations. I'm looking to host people's mini games and adventure maps, so let me know. All right, without further ado, our first command is tell. Tell is, is a very simple command that non-opt players can use on servers. Uh, and all it does is message a player privately, so only that player can see it instead of public chat. So you just you put a slash tell, you put the player's name, and you type your message. There's no special formatting you could do. It's just it's italic gray text is what the result is, assuming you don't have plugins or anything. And that is it. You see this forge whispers to you. You whisper to forge because I'm sending the message to myself. But that is the tell command. All right, next up we have the tell raw command. The tell raw command is exceptionally powerful. Let me just give you a quick sample. Anything you see after this crazy yellow bar thing is what I just sent there. So this went to everyone in the chat and it says, welcome to another video, uh, obviously, in this colored text with this stuff going around it. Click here to say hello world. If I click it, it says hello world, and you just keep doing that. And right here, it says click here to open swashbucklecraft.com. And if I click this, it's wanting to take me to uh, our website. So this is just an exceptionally powerful command. You can do so much cool stuff with it. Um, but going to the most basic form, you can just do tell raw all, and then you put in parentheses your message. So we'll just do hello world, just like that. And it sends it to everyone in chat. You can do some really cool formatting and stuff. Like if I just do this, I can, here, I'll just pretend to be Notch. It looks like another player is typing in the chat. And it's just a cool thing to do if you want to troll some people or whatnot. You can color the text however you want. But all that other links, like making a link you can click on to go to a website or typing in a specific command, that's all available using the tool I put in the description down below right next to the TellRaw wiki link. Um, I don't manually type this stuff. If I just scroll through right here, there's so much. There's so much. It doesn't even get close to fitting into this, uh, into the tech uh, chat. So I have to use a command block to type it. But that tool will help you do it. And it only took me a few seconds or maybe a minute to make that. So it's a very useful thing. That's it for the tell raw command. Next up, we have time. Time is going to let you check what time of day it is in ticks. And you don't have to just look at the sun. You can get super, super precise times and it allows you to change the time. We'll focus on add first because it's a really easy one to get. The sun's gonna set the direction I'm looking. Now, if I go ahead and add 1000 ticks, it's jumping forward in time. In fact, if you are check, looking at this F3 menu, look where my mouse is, you'll see this day eight. If I add 100,000 ticks, it goes to day 12 because I skipped four days. And now it's a new moon. <laughs> if I do it again, it's just, it's just gonna keep adding days like that. Now the moon phrases change, stuff like that. Okay, say you want to do something at a specific time of day. There is a way to do that. You can query Sorry, we'll do time query day, daytime. And this is how much time since the last sunset. It's almost an entire day because the moon's almost gone. So you're able to get that specific time. Say you want to act on that. You can do this fancy command. If you don't understand what I'm doing with this execute command, check out my tutorial on this command in the all commands playlist down below. But we'll go ahead and do result score time time and we oh sorry it's supposed to be this and then we'll do time query daytime as you can see in the sidebar 20,000 so then you can just run a command on that if someone's score is 20,000 then do what you want say you want a boss to summon at the middle of the night or whatever else very very useful say you want to have a specific time of day you can do time set you can do set a specific preset or you can do a specific uh, number of ticks if you want a really, really specific time of day. One last thing with the time add is you can add seconds or days. So 
if I want to add a thousand days, if you look at F3 menu again, now we're at day 1000, day 2000, day 3000. And that's just a very cool thing. If you do set, keep in mind, it will reset your day counter. That can be annoying if you want to have the world uh, have that in the F3 menu. So just keep that in mind. That is it for the time command. All right, last command we have here is the title command. I'm gonna just showcase a couple examples. Here we got spawn, a good place to be. And if you look right above my inventory, the bottom there, it says a good place for a HUD in dark aqua. Press that again in case you missed it. All right, that's what the title command can do. Now I'm gonna run through how it did that. First off, we got times. So this is showing how long that title is gonna show for. So 20 seconds to appear, sorry, 20 ticks or one second, 100 ticks or five seconds to stay, and then 20 ticks or one second to fade out. The next command sets the subtitle. That's the little text that it showed underneath. You have to set the subtitle before the title. That's this text under here. This is the main title, the spawn. All right, then you have, this is a very easy one to see. This is just setting what that big text is. <clears throat> okay, the action bar, it's the same syntax. You say who you want to see the action bar, and then you say the text you want them to see, and that's just gonna do that there. And then if you wanna do an exceptionally simple title, you can just type this in yourself without any external tools, just like that. Just putting in those parentheses and you're good to go. Now, if you want to do the more fancy formatting and don't want to learn all the JSON formatting like me, use the tool in the link I put next to the wiki article for the title command. All right, aside from that, there are a couple extra things to know about the title command. You have clear, that's going to clear any title that's currently showing. In fact, if I do this and type clear, it instantly removes it. Now, reset is going to be harder to showcase, but like I showed you here, you have to queue a subtitle. So if I do this, I destroy that. Nothing will show. But as soon as I do this, my bad, it shows that subtitle. So the subtitle will be queued until you run a title command. So if I queue it again and I reset, and now I show the title, it's not showing at the same time. So basically, it clears your queue. Um, it's it's kind of hard to show in this instance, but it does clear your queue. And it resets the default time. So if you had specific times you wanted to show your title, like you had this at like 100, 200, 100, it would reset it to the default, I believe it's 20, 120. The wiki will say that if I'm wrong on the defaults, but that should be all you need to know. All right, I thank you for watching this episode in the All Commands tutorial series. Be sure to ask any questions you have in the comments down below or in the Mapmakers Discord where there are specific help channels where myself or someone else in the community can give you some help. I will see you all in the next video.